everyone welcome back to my channel so we are jumping right into this video because at long last i am finally getting to do my own nails i have not had a chance to do my own nails in quite a long time before doing my nails here my nails were bare for like two and a half weeks which is much longer than i usually go my nails are usually not undone for more than just like a couple of days um if i don't have a chance to get to it but i have been so busy with work and i just did not have the time to put in the amount of effort that it takes to like you know do your own nails because over here i'm only doing my right hand i'm sorry i'm doing my left hand but i already did my right hand you know in the same day and stuff but um because it's just all the same i didn't want to like bore you with too much of the same content but you know it takes a long time to do your nails especially if you want to like make it intricate and fun and i just did not have the time to sit down before now and i have finally gotten a chance to do it and i am so excited so i'm jumping right in with this yellow and brown set over here i am so excited for autumn autumn is my favorite season definitely i love the changing of the seasons it's so beautiful i love the slightly chillier weather where it's like sunny when it, it's like warm when it's sunny but like there's a slight like crisp breeze and it's just like perfect for like a sweater but not a coat i don't want to wear a coat i don't like being cold i hate being cold but a slight chill just the little bit of like fresh air i love it so i am very much excited for the autumn season and i wanted my nails to portray that even though it is still august like it's, in my brain september 1st is is autumn so i wanted to get into the spirit and i love brown and yellow together i think it is just such a pretty combination and it definitely kind of like symbolizes to me like the changing of the seasons with like bright colorful you know greenery well not green in this situation but like plant life then like turning into like the brown crispy leaves of autumn. I just love how the colors flow together and that's definitely what I wanted to highlight in this nail set over here. Sorry about the dad frame there. And I just really wanted to create a set that got me very excited for autumn but also still had a bit of summer to it. So the yellow is still summery, it's still bright but it's perfect for the transitional season of summer into autumn which is something that I'm so 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 excited for. So I am doing an ombre um, nail over here on my thumb, on my index finger, and then on my pinky. And then on my two other nails, I wanted to do a plaid design. A plaid is definitely something that screams autumn to me. And recently I did a video on stamping and troubleshooting stamping, if you're having some difficulties with that. And as part of my demos and um, just kind of like demonstrations on how I do stamping, I did a plaid design and i just was so excited it made me like extra excited for the autumn season and i was just like okay the next time i do my nails i have to put plaid in my nails it just totally started the whole excitement for autumn all over again so i went in with this stamping plate here from claire jelly stamper and i just needed to put plaid on my nails it was like not an option at this point so I'm just going in and if you missed my video about stamping and if you're have, having trouble with stamping and stuff, um, I will link the video in the corner so that you can go check it out after this video. I love how the layered stamping look comes together, especially with plaid. It really just brings the whole design to life and the extra texture that these designs have really just makes me feel like I'm wearing a sweater on my nail and that is definitely what I was going for here. I really wanted to portray those vibes. And I don't remove the stamping polish from around my fingers as you can see until I actually top coat with my gel polish because I am using gel here. Um, as and, and that is because sometimes I will actually accidentally remove the stamping from my actual nail where I want it to stay. And then I have to go in and do it all over again and that's just frustrating. And because it's regular polish, um, there's not that much of an issue with it touching the skin. So I like just leaving it there until I top coat so that I don't risk ruining my design. There is nothing more frustrating than like having a really nice stamping design and then accidentally removing it with nail polish remover when you're trying to clean up the edges, especially with a layered stamping image like this one that I have here on my nails. Because then if you mess it up, you kind of have to start all over again which is like not something that you really want to do so i definitely just leave the 
leave the polish there until I have it top coated and then I remove it with nail polish remover afterwards. So I'm just adding some gold flakes here. I'd love adding just extra dimension to the nails. I don't really do anything too elaborate or crazy on my own nails, but just an, a little bit of extra glitz and glimmer is always a lot of fun. So now I'm going in with this five in one top coat from Vetsy. It's like a top coat, but it also has um, some structure. So I'm just building up the structure of the nails here and over here going over the plaid designs. And once I have that cured and um, all done, I'm going to go in with these butterfly stickers over here. They are so pretty and I love blue and yellow together. I think it's such a pretty combination. Just struggling with that little butterfly there. And I thought that the blue would really pop on the yellow and brown. So I think all those colors, blue, yellow, and brown really go well together. So I really wanted to just throw in a little bit of extra design here. And you can see I removed the um, stamping polish from around my nails at this point. And I just kind of went back and forth between these two uh, um, stickers over here, these two different sticker sheets. Um, to pick out different butterflies. I wanted some blue, but I also wanted to keep the brown and yellow, and I love how it looks on the nails here. Now I'm going to top coat this with a matte top coat. I love how plaid looks in matte, and I found that after I top coated with the matte, the butterflies actually really stood out a lot more. So for this design, I wanted to go with the matte top coat. And sorry, I'm slightly a bit out of focus there, but I'm just top coating, so there's not really too much to see here. and covering up 